The Bundesliga picks up where it left off. Leipzig close in on Lone Star. Swap deals reign supreme. A transfer roundup and a look back on all of your Friday feels. That and more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Froenick. You with the one footballers and this is the Daily News. So first off and football return, the Bundesliga is back and yeah, kind of just picked up where it left off really. Now I know there were no fans in the stadium to greet all of the players and all of the goals that flew into the back of the net, but things didn't really change too much. Dortmund absolutely hammered Schalke as you'd expect on current form. Bayern Munich were in a comfortable victory over Union Berlin. Yes, Leipzig did drop points at home to Freiburg. Gladbach moved up into third after they've been fighting for the Champions League spots all season and down at the bottom, nobody really gained any headway apart from head to Berlin pulling off a shock 3-0 win. So apart from that, after all that wait, things really went as expected. Lewandowski found the back of the net and so did Erling Haaland, but it doesn't matter because football is back on our screens. And so much so, and it went pretty much without a hitch, that many other federations are also looking at a potential return date. According to Spanish FA, there could be football on every single weekday. When the Liga eventually returns, they'll have about five or six weeks to complete the league season, meaning they'll have matches every single day and there will be two game days per week. That means your favorite team, whoever you support in La Liga, will be playing two matches every three days. This is definitely going to make for a rather exciting six weeks or so. Along with this and the Premier League are deciding today whether or not that their players can return to group training with the 12th of June return looking a little bit too early, but maybe around the end of June when La Liga returns, they'll also be back in action. Next up though, and Patrick Schick is apparently closing in on his permanent move to RB Leipzig. In Schick's loan deal from Roma, Leipzig can buy him outright for 28 million, but they're looking for a bit of a drop in the price to around 20 million. Roma have met in the middle around 24, and it looks like the man who has scored seven goals and 16 Bundesliga appearances could be making a permanent move to Germany. Now, the reason that Roma are willing to go down just a little bit is because they kind of need the money at the moment. Apparently, they're not in the greatest of financial positions and there have been rumors they may be forced to sell Nicolo Zaniolo, their prized asset, should they actually balance the books. I'm not so sure whether this will happen. Even if it does, they'll probably sell the whole team before they end up selling Zaniolo. But moving on and talking of transfers, not of the selling kind, but of the swap kind, there are just so many going on at the moment. It's either a swap deal or a free transfer, which is interesting most clubs. First up over the weekend, Ryan Fraser has admitted that he sees his future at Tottenham rather than reportedly Arsenal. The Bournemouth winger was on top form last season with 14 assists, putting him up there with the top five in Europe. This season, only four assists to his name, but his contract is expiring in the summer. Now, while Bournemouth still hold tiny, tiny hopes of getting him to agree a new deal, it looks like he will be leaving on a free and the 26-year-old would be a pretty good signing for or Spurs. They definitely, definitely need some pace up front to complement the other attacking players that they've got. And with Xiong Min Sun unable to do it all, all of the time, Fraser will be a pretty good backup. But along with this, there have been the numerous swap deals, mainly involving Juventus, PSG and Barcelona. Somewhere along the way in this transfer market, the likes of Semedo, Pjanic, Paredes, Arta, Vidal, De Cilio, somebody is going to move somewhere in a swap deal. Over the weekend, there were rumours that a verbal agreement had been made to swap Nelson Semedo to Juventus with De Cilio and Pjanic going in the opposite direction, but that has been rubbish within the last few hours, and I'm not so sure a deal like that will actually be happening. It seems like Juventus aren't exactly getting the best bargain out of it. So next up in a quick round up of the rest of the day's transfer news, of Barcelona's Brazilian goalkeeper Neto is apparently interesting Arsenal. Real Sociedad that defender Diego Llorente is interested in a move to either Liverpool or Monaco this summer. Zlatan Ibrahimovic's future lies with either Hammerby or still in Syria with Bologna after it looks like he'll be leaving AC Milan. And last but not least, apparently Crystal Palace are planning a triple swoop on Burnley. They want to take winger Dwight McNeil, defender James Tarkovsky, and to sum it all up, they want to take manager Sean Dyche as well. So finally, we come to the roundup of your Friday feels. This is where you guys left your footballing predictions in the daily news comment section on Friday. And a few of you got things right. Khaled Abu Amar guessed that Haaland and Lewandowski would find the back of the net of the weekend, which they did in their side's victories. And talking of that victory, YouTube account Bate Borisov, not sure whether it's the official count of the club, guessed that Union Berlin would fall to a 2-0 defeat to Bayern Munich. And last but not least, Jax Carter guessed that Borussia Mönchengladbach would beat Frankfurt 3-1, which they did, as I mentioned, to take them into third position. So there you have it. That is all from me for today's daily news. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, though, about the Bundesliga returning, football is back, and all of the other transfer bits. Whilst you're at it, 
let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Smash the like button and click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.